let's imagine that um, Cobb County Schools is laid out right here in my hands, all of it, all the schools, everything is right here in my hands, the whole system. And for a moment, just envision, well, I, I take and scoop up all of the people that work in the system, all the schools, and take them outside and set them over here on the table for a moment. So I've got Cobb County Schools less the people in my hands. So there's all these little buildings, and then there's all the distribution of buildings across the county. And then within the buildings, we could look at, there's, there's the uh, positioning of computers, of telephones, of electrical outlets. There's measurement procedures and policies about how they're going to assess students, how they're going to track dollar flows. There's all these different systems. There's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different kinds of systems that are all intertwined in there in this system we call Cobb County Schools. And what the purpose of all those systems are is to interface all the relationships between all these people we took off and put over here. And I want to say that the efficiency of Cobb County Schools as a whole has to do with how well those systems interface and help each of these people learn how to work together. That to the extent that those systems aren't creating environments and opportunities for all these people to be working, to, learning how to work together, then those systems are blocks. And this is what this is the, the point that I want to make is that this is what business is starting to learn. This is how you know IBM spends a billion dollars a year on internal education. It's a line item, right at the top. It's the biggest problem of insurance companies, of Harley Davidson, <laughs> motorcycle, low tech, high tech. How is it that our system all of its, its measurements, its economics, its, its assessment, its employee relations, its human resource development, all of these things. <clears throat> so 